everybody, welcome to the lab. Mm. The Geek Lab, or the Lab of Geek. Anyway, in front of us we have, uh, as far as I'm aware, a quite rare uh, Cambridge Microcomputers 486-33DX. I think it's a DX. Hang on, let me check. Because it does say on the back of the system. Um, get you some light there. And, hmm, sitting on the floor of the lab today, so we're going off room to set it up properly. Yep, there he is. 486DX. 33, uh, looks like 4 megabytes of RAM. And that's it. This was found being chucked out. And this, uh, oh, until a short while ago, was a working computer. I know because I'd seen it working. But now it appears it is not. Now, I do know some issues that are present in it, but let me take you through the steps I went through. I was initially going to uh, strip it down and do it the proper way and check it, but I couldn't be bothered to do that. Well, I wanted to do a quick check to see if it actually worked. So uh, let me put a power lead in the back and I shall show you the results I got. Right, I have now inserted a power lead up its bottom. And those of you who are on my Facebook group who have seen this initially and know that it looks a lot worse than it does now. Because uh, it was covered in X's. Which I've managed to get off even though they were permanent mock. I'm impressed with myself, although my hand was only cleaning because they're stickery as dickery. There is an actual X left there. But I'm saving that one because this is beautiful. Now I'm saving that one to uh, do a quick tutorial now to get them off sometime. Not today. Uh, so, uh, let's power this up, see what it does. No keyboard, no mouse touch, no monitor. Just, just a plain boot up. And as you can hear, we can hear the PSU start up. We can see the display running at the front. It's doing something. What is that? Two beeps. Hmm. Now, that's quite different because I'll tell you now, when I bought this home from uh, where I got it from, it was making no noises. It was not beeping, it wasn't trying anything. That's an improvement, believe me. So, there's obviously something going wrong here. I can't see, we can't see it trying to dry, although I think it just did. Let me just try. Let's just try that again. Let's see what it does this time. I heard it trying something. It sounded like a five and a quarter inch. Okay, there we go. I think that's the speaker just clicking away. I wonder if it's trying for a keyboard. But we had no beeping sounds last time. We do have beeping sounds this time, which is Bloody brilliant. So, what I'm going to do, uh, we'll have a quick look inside first, and then I'm going to hook her up to the monitor, give her a keyboard and mouse, well, give her a keyboard because I haven't got a mouse for this, it's a serial mouse, and uh, see what she does. Right, I have her top off. <laughs> hey, first impressions, this is very, very clean inside. Second impressions, the hard drive's been nicked. Yep, she has no hard drive. So, let's have a quick look around inside. You'll probably know more than me, but I'll show you anyway. Get the camera off, and all right then. Okay. So, as you can see, this system is exceptionally clear. I don't know why it's got B10 on there, but it is exceptionally clean. Uh, it's hardly a speck of dust in the entire thing and as you can see working April 1998 I'm not sure if this is the original uh, PSU but it is a PSU and you can see the drives there uh, three and a quarter uh, it does have a full bank of memory there hmm. so what it is left to do stick into a monitor and uh, 
give a keyboard see what we get I know it's not going to read from its drive uh, but it might work off a Windows boot disk for now I have a floppy drive in the Nimbus there that might work if I stick a in well, if I wire her in we'll see what happens we'll be back right uh, about half an hour later and uh, gonna have to pause the creation of this video because uh, yes <laughs> I, I reset it a couple of times just to get information up on the screen and uh, it stopped working again. Uh, these drives do power on, I've just got them unplugged at the moment to make sure it's not some, nothing to do with that but... Yeah, it doesn't want to seem to do anything again. Uh, I've checked all the rails, everything seems to be okay, 4.85 on 5 volt. Quick read of the 12 volt. Up it is 11.65. The 12 volt low is similar. The 5 volt low is similar. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a 5, got a 3.5, which is on the brown. I can't find a brown to test that. Uh, mm. Yes, that's weird. Uh, 3.5, yeah, so. I have no idea what's going on. I've taken the cards out, checked them, checked connections, had a look at the tantalums, uh, played with the memory, just pushing it down. I've pushed the BIOSes down. Uh, CPU is warm. Uh, well, CPU. Oh god. <laughs> CPU is hot. Ow, very hot. As it should be. Uh, it's two BIOSes in here. This one, uh, I'll just show you. <clears throat> the AMD one, there, second one, is cool, and that one is semi warm. So, I'm going to give it a couple of days and fire it up and see what it does. Because it had a couple of days rest between uh, me picking it up and trying this video. So, we'll do another couple of days, see what happens. Uh, if no luck, I should put the video up as is and see what suggestions can be made because it was working. It's weird. It is very strange. And I've put requests up on Facebook to uh, see if anybody. Uh, see if anybody has any ideas. It's on the Facebook group there with a couple of pictures. So, uh, yes. Hmm. It's a mystery at the moment. Oh well, we'll be back. Right, it is a few days later, and uh, well, I'm going to let you into a little secret here because it's not actually a few days later; it's a few nights later. Um, current time: three or eight in the morning, second of December. Yes, can't sleep. So, yeah. what else is there to do? Uh, pardon me. Apart from work on four eight sixes at ten past three in the morning. So, uh, I've just powered it up again to see if we got any life. There is no signal coming from there. So, uh, over the last few days, I've had some suggestions on the forum, and it could be an intermittent short from under the board, which just wouldn't be the first time this has happened. Uh, it could be one of the cards playing up, it could be one of the chips buggered here. So, what we're going to do is take it apart, take it back to a bare boon system check everything underneath and then plug little bits back in and see if we can't get it to fire up that way first thing we have to do switch the bugger back off and take the mains out good idea and take the video out right so yes we are going to take out the motherboard looks like uh, to do such a thing this drive's got to come out which isn't a biggie but uh, I may do so you have to do you some time lapse of this event. Yes, okie dokie. We'll get that done. Here we go. What better things to do with it? Ten past three in the morning.
Right, it is now nearly a day later. Well, it's uh, evening of the following day. And why is it now evening? Well, I had a little incident in the lab last night. Uh, I was just cleaning these uh, memory sims here when from over the side there I had a little and smoke emitted and it's down here now but it turns out after quite a bit of searching that Macintosh 2E one of the capacitors in the power supply had exploded which is weird because that had no power at the time and it has had no power for about seven months because it doesn't work but it exploded and completely filled the lab full of stink uh, for all night show. I was unable to work on it last night so I'm continuing the mission today but that's very strange but I'm gonna finish off here finish do what I was doing and put back a basic system and uh, I'll power it up see what it does yeah it's very strange that explosion but there we go I'll be right back Hmm, strange one this one, um, yeah, had its part, put it back together, uh, had the cards in different places, I put the video card there once with that disc controller in, and I got the ticking away, it didn't come on the screen, but it ticking away, so in the very next reboot, nothing, uh, so I put that card back there, put that card in, uh, nothing, some intermittent fault somewhere. He's a bastard. Mm. I haven't got all the memory in yet, but uh, at least I know it likes counting that memory. Uh, hmm. Yes, it does read the keyword, then tries that. Hello, Fluffy. Hi, Brain T. Show T. It's um, not spelled there. T. There we go. So, yes, this one's a mystery. I know it works, I know there's life there, but I can't quite get it. What's causing it? It's that. Why it, thank you. Why is it being a bar steward? Uh, which a dish? Oh yeah, that's, that's true. <coughs> they only do as the human makers tell them. Yeah, that's how it powers. I oh, wonder if that's got anything to do with it. Mm. Nah, because I go straight to the pan. Yeah, I give you that. Yeah, that goes to the power switch. By the looks of it. Oh no, not no, it doesn't. It must go to the reset. Yeah, it must go to the reset panel. Um, I have had it plugged in without the reset button plugged in. She's down there. And that's when it tick 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 tick. But no tick 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 now. A bugger. Let me get this thing going. It'll be good. Uh, battery still in one piece as well. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do. Short on ideas. Hmm. Now it's there. But it doesn't want to play. Off time. You did actually switch the monitor on earlier, but no picture. Hmm. Yep. And I do know that the BIOS is kicking in, because when we took out, uh, left just two banks of memory in there, the BIOS was complaining. Three beeps, meaning the 64K was knacked uh, alright, I'm just going to do a little bit of research oh excuse me, hiccups I'm just going to do a little bit of research on the memory configuration, see if I can play with that I'll be right back alright, still no luck with the uh, hmm. I've put all the memory back in uh, still no change, but I can show you that the bars is working because if I take out the video card <laughs> And then, power on. 
we get two short beeps three four five six seven eight system video adapter is either missing or its memory is faulty yeah so the BIOS is running <laughs> I don't know why it's faulty because it's uh, in my hands right let's uh, put this back in now when I put it over here I don't know what the particular one but this area I did actually get a bit counting memory of this so I'm just gonna try that just for the hell of it why not? Can't do any more harm. That's what it does. Uh, well, of course there's no video. Duh. Not plugged in. Hang on. There we go. Um, you can't see the monitor from there, but there's nothing on the monitor. And no BPOs. This is frustrating. Hmm. Well, I'm going to uh, cut the video here, put this up as is, and uh, if anybody's got any ideas, let me know. We know the BIOS is running because it complains. Uh, what's stopping it? Why is it getting stuck? Any ideas? At the moment I've got the key lock uh, unplugged just in case. And I'll just unplug the reset switch. Uh, just to show you it's not the reset switch getting stuck. I have to put my mind at ease it's not the reset switch getting stuck. There you go. No change. But if I take the memory out it complains. If I take the video card out it complains. So we know the BIOS is working, uh, processor is warm, cache is warm, I wouldn't say hot, you know, it's just warm to the touch, it's not hot like the processor is. Uh, that one is very slightly warm and the BIOS is cold. Uh, so there's power getting around the board. This is a mystery. Hope. I hope that the time off I spend between this and the video going up and people talking about it, uh, we can perhaps come up with some ideas, but at the moment this is going to be a thought experiment and I might have to stick this computer into the thinking corner until we can come up with something for it. Poor thing. Okay, uh, it does have a battery by the way, I have not measured its output, uh, but not leaking. I don't know if that's a factor, possibly not. But, okay, there you go, from something that was, it was ticking here, it was even ticking, you could hear it doing its memory checks earlier, once, and then it stopped again, it's intermittent. <sighs> Fault on the motherboard? Do not know. If you can help me, it'd be much appreciated. So, for the moment, this is a failure, but hopefully with, with people's help, It'll become not a failure. So thank you all. The you need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>